Hey guys, welcome back to the Experimental Super Cub build, episode number two. In this episode, we're going to build the um, rudder. I had previously built the vertical stabilizer before I started filming, so in this, um, in this video I'm going to be going through all the layout and um, forming the pieces and bending the metal and, and everything that kind of went into this process of building a, a tail surface, which will probably be the same stuff that I'll use to build the horizontal stabilizers and elevators. Now with this video I was kind of filming sporadically so I got most of what I wanted to get but I didn't get um, didn't get some of forming up the parts and forming up the trailing edge of the rudder um, but I'll do my best to explain it um, as we go through the video. Okay so we need to create a um, batten for the rudder layout. So I've got a strip of like quarter by quarter pine and I got this tarp and I'm just going to put the water in and try and get this thing to be as flexible as possible. So we'll leave it, let it soak up the water and then we can bend it to the shape of the rudder. So the purpose of the batten is to give me a nice curve around the on the rudder layout uh, using only the reference points that I have on the paper drawing, which is just the lengths of each rib in the rudder. Okay, now we're going to start the layout for the ribs for the rudder. First thing you need to do is take and print. I printed the layout for the rudder, the rib that shows all the dimensions for all the ribs for the rudder, I think the elevators, and the um, horizontal and vertical stabilizers. That's not going to need that. So then this just gives you all the dimensions. And here's our 025 4130 sheet. And then I'll cut all the ones that are longer than 16 inches on this. And I have a um, I have a 16 by 18 sheet over there, which I'll use for the shorter ones. Okay, so now we have our layout done. You can see the radius that we just talked about that I used. And the radius down here, which was small, so I just got the left and the right. But we'll do like a little layout. So that'll be there. So that's kind of like what it'll look like once it's folded up in, in the rudder. So half inch on this side for the up part, and then we have to bend the 15 degree part of the side of the rib in so it doesn't cut the fabric. And that kind of proves to be challenging and I'll show you in a minute how I've uh, rigged up a little system to get around that or to, to make that possible. Because it's really hard to do in the, uh, in the break. So now the next thing we're going to do is cut out the rib. Okay, now the roof's cut out, we're gonna put in the brake and uh, bend it to shape. Now the rib is done, the uh, two tapers are done, or the two coping is done on the either end. So the next thing we have to do is put in this. Okay, so what I was trying to explain here is how to put the little 15 degree tapers on all the ribs that protect the fabric from the metal. Um, you can't do this on a brake because it's just so tiny that the finger of the brake won't won't be able to get in there. Um, so what I did is create a taper jig, and then on the table saw I ripped up some tapered um, form wooden forms and then uh, beveled them with a plane, and then I used a rubber mallet to then bend over each side of the rib in 15 degrees, and that seemed to work pretty well, and I was able just to make a couple forms and get most of what I needed for all the ribs. Okay, so that kind of went through building one rib. Um, 
then I just went ahead and built all the other ribs the same way and then proceeded to um, slowly bend the 3 8 trailing edge of the rudder around the form blocks um, ever so slowly and um, just kind of went slow and did it and did it little by little until I had it kind of sitting in there with almost no pressure. Um, and that seemed to work well. So then, so then a couple days of fitting and making sure everything was, was how I wanted it. And then I went ahead and, um, tacked it with the TIG. Okay. So the next thing we're going to do is build the, uh, rudder horn. Now that the, uh, rudder has been tacked together, the next step, you have to tack the rudder together on the table. And then after you make the horn and then jig up the rudder to a 90 degree angle on the table and then weld the the horn to the rudder, um, but first you have to make the rudder. So um, we'll just lay it out on this piece of 090 um, 4130 sheet steel, and then we'll um, cut it out on the bandsaw and um, grind the rest of it away on the, uh, the various grinders around the shop. So let's get to it. Okay, so the rudder is now complete. Um, after fabricating the horn, you jig it up on the table and also have to, you have to fabricate a, a sleeve, a reinforcement sleeve for the torque that the horn places on the rudder tube. Um, I, had to, I had to build this horn like twice. I think I laid it out like three times. Um, so I finally got it right and then um, and was able to jig it up and then tack everything together and I'm pretty happy with how it all came out and then the final part I did with the rudder was the um, the little reinforcement um, piece and then the welding rod reinforcement wire on the top of the bow here so with that all the fabrication except for the hinges um, is done on all the all the both the rudder and the um, vertical stabilizer and uh, I'm pretty happy with how it came out for being my, per my first um, piece of the airplane I built. Um, the curve, I'm really happy with. There's no kinks or anything in it. Um, it came out really nice. So, uh, so that's pretty good. We'll move along uh, with the... Ow. So I won't be moving forward with the um, horizontal stabilizers and elevators next. I'm going to jump ahead because I've got my um, tubing kit uh, for the fuselage. I just got that in the mail and I've started to uh, build the table and start to assemble that. So that'll be the next video. We'll be starting the tube fuselage and I'll do a little review of the uh, profiled CNC tubing kit that I got um, for the uh, Super Cub fuselage build. Thanks for watching and if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Um, please uh, subscribe if you haven't and uh, give this video a like and I will see you on the next one.